All right, in this video, I'd like to talk to you about how you can take your HeimVision HeimLink phone and take the uh, recordings off of your camera and put it to your phone and also put it to your computer. So you may have like an event that you wanna get off of the camera and maybe show it to police or something like that. So this is how you do, you do that. So I'm gonna go into the HeimLink app. So I'm gonna show you how to record your um, events to your phone. Now, first thing I wanna say is you'll need to put in your app, switch your app permissions inside your phone so that it will be able to, so that you'll be able to store uh, the videos onto your phone. So I'm just gonna go back here. Here's where I walked in front of the camera here. So to record an event, you just uh, press the record button right here at the bottom of the screen of your phone. You enter that at, so I'm walking up the driveway, so I wanna record that event. So I'm just pretending to, like I'm a car thief or whatever, just trying to, a porch pirate or look through someone's car <laughs> and I'm just recording that event where I walk around my vehicle and I just run down the driveway and then basically the simple thing is you just need to unselect record I guess I should uh, actually touch my phone here there you go and I'll just enter it to the album and I'm still trying to go to the album here. So you just back out of here and go to my album. And there's the, the recordings that I had there. So there's that recording I just took. Now, if you want to share it, you can click here. So you can upload it to YouTube, uh, use an Android Beam via Bluetooth share it on Facebook, share it as a messenger message, save it as your profile video. What I ended up doing was I just saved it to my Google Drive. So there's the name of the folder there. There is my Gmail email address and just save it. So to just do it with your Google Drive account, you just simply go to Google. And if you have your account logged in, there is my smiling face. You go to Drive. So here's a few videos that I've uh, that I got on the drive. Here's a video that Tyler, the antenna man, and I've done, and here's the video of what we're looking for there on Google Drive. So there's a video on Google Drive, but I want to actually download the file. Here it is. So it'll be like a big long file. I'll just save it to my downloads, and there it is, saved. So if you also want to retrieve the the photo, you can go into your phone's gallery. And under videos, it will you'll find it under there. So here it is in my gallery. So even in here where I have the video, I can share it, uh, do whatever I want to do through the Google, uh, through the Android app, play on VLC, upload it to YouTube. Or I found the simple way of just doing that to the cloud is uploading it through my Google Drive account. But if you want to put it right on Facebook or whatever, you can do that as well. Another thing you can do is take your phone and connect it via a USB cable to your computer and get it off that way. Or just pop your SD card out and plug it into your computer that way as well. There's various ways of getting pictures and phones and videos off your uh, phone, like how you normally would anyway. Please check out freesatellitetv.net and also check out the new shop where you can order free satellite TV, LMBs, receivers, and dishes, all sorts of things for your free to air needs over at the freesatellitetv.net shop. All right, so I've downloaded it to my directory here. So here's where I'm walking around the the, the uh, car and I'm just gonna look at the codec information. So I'll save it as a 720p. Now I have it set to standard definition. It says standard definitions, but it's really 720p, 720p. I doubt there's audio because, yeah, I turned the microphone off so there's no audio. Because I found the microphone was triggering at night. Every time um, a car went by, it was just going going off. So here's um, all the details about the video. I can see it here it's a little pixelated, but I'm I'm trying to get as much uh, information onto the onto the card as possible. So I just want to have like just the 720 uh, 720 um, visual anyway. It doesn't need to be much higher than that, in my opinion. So here's what happened. And this was actually when it was starting to get dark out, but it didn't look very dark out. And as you can see, there was a raccoon that walked by my house. So I was able to grab that footage. 
of a raccoon coming up my around my house and just prowling around looking for food, looking for a garbage can or a garbage bag that I can rip open and put all over the place. So thanks for watching. And please check out my other video on my Heimlink camera. And check out my other videos and subscribe to this channel so you can be smart like me. <laughs> so please check out my YouTube channel, Robbie Strike, and check out all the technology videos and reviews that I've done covering satellite, free to air, cell phone, how to do stuff in Linux, how to do stuff in shortwave and old technology and doing neato things with computers.